What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossBrayTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Did you guys miss me? Now today's video is an exciting video because I'm gonna announce my next big project and I know you guys are gonna like it because it involves Raspberry Pis and it involves a cluster. So if you like Raspberry Pis and you like clusters, you're gonna love this freaking video. So I really wanna get this shit started already. All right, so let's talk about the video series. It's a Raspberry Pi cluster and it's gonna be a Raspberry Pi cluster of 12. Yes, 12 Raspberry Pi 3s in a cluster. So what are we gonna use our Raspberry Pi cluster for? We actually have a purpose this time. We're gonna be using it to find freaking aliens from outer space. Real fucking aliens from outer space. Can you believe? If you guys don't know, I created a video where I took a Raspberry Pi, I installed Boink on that Raspberry Pi 3, I set up SETI at home and it was able to analyze data and send it back to their servers. So the way it works is let's say you have 10 computers on the Boink network. It's more than that. There are like thousands of computers on the Boink network. It would take all those thousands of computers and each computer it would sign a task. We use your computer's resources to analyze. Once you're finished analyzing, it would send that information back to Boink. So this is basically a collective way to solve something. Let's say you joined a Boink network. Your computer is one of the resources the Boink network can use, right? So let's say there's a thousand computers on the Boink network. It has a thousand computers that it could divide work you know, each computer will get its own work. When you're assigned some work, your computer does all the heavy lifting. It uses a CPU power, a GPU power, whatever to solve that problem. Once you problem, once the problem is solved, it sends that information back to Boink. This is a way to get a problem solved with multiple computers instead of like buying a supercomputer. All right, so let me explain to you guys what SETI at Home is. SETI at Home is basically a program created by Berkeley. Its purpose is to analyze radio signals from space to see if there are actually extraterrestrials out there, like real aliens. So this program has been around for like 20 years. That's why I want to create this uh, cluster so it could help the cause. And hopefully you guys think this cause is cool. I want to know if there's aliens out there. Hopefully you guys want to know if there are aliens out there too. And it's going to be cool because we're going to build a cluster. The cluster is going to work and it's going to analyze the data, send that data back to the SETI server. This time around, the actual Raspberry Pi cluster is actually doing something. We have a purpose and this program I'm going to run as long as I have the Raspberry Pi cluster. It's going to run in the background. I might build a case. I think I'm going to get a computer case and like retrofit everything into that computer case. If not, I'm going to set something else up. I created like a, a enclosure of like acrylic or some sort of glass thing you guys probably saw a while back. I might use that. Basically, this is just like a video to announce that the video series is coming next week. The first video is going to be the parts where I show you guys all the parts. The second video, I guess we're going to be building the thing. The third video, we're going to be programming it. And the fourth video, if there's a fourth video, we're probably just going to be finishing whatever we didn't finish in the third video. So I'm really excited for this series. Hopefully you guys are excited for this series too. I do love Raspberry Pis. I do love clusters. I know a lot of you guys subscribe to me because of the Raspberry Pi cluster series. You guys feel me? We're actually going to do this. I know a lot of you guys out there, you're like, yes, yes, Raspberry Pi cluster, Raspberry Pi cluster, let's do this. If you guys like this, I need you guys to like this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and thank you guys for watching. Well, seriously, did you guys miss me? Come on, you missed me a little bit, right? Just a little, just a little, please.